Welcome back folks. Get settled in, whack the kettle on. We're going samba rafting. So we're heading up to the Victorian high country for a few days. Uh, this trip uh, we're setting out on our new uh, pack rafts, our lightweight pack rafts and we're going to have a base camp alongside the rafts. A um, few nights, hike a few hills, see if we can find some deer. So we just made it past our first series kind of uh, rapid and uh, as I took the lead on that one and there's a big log jam behind it so we had to bail out and uh, walk around that one um, some good good bluffy country Well, here we are, camp one. What do you think, day one so far, Don? Yeah, do good. Just clean all the water out of my uh, pockets and that, things like that. It's great, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a dry out. <laughs> He's got the faithful old uh, Mac pack. Even brought a chair. How's this for luxury? <laughs> That's mint. Yeah. I got a little bit wet. I must have had a tear in my dry bag. My raft filled up with water and this is my setup on here. The wilderness equipment. What do you, what do you got here, um, Greg? What's this, uh, this beast? Backpack. Tunnel tent. New one, yeah. First time using it. We'll see how it goes. Easy set up. Yeah, pretty easy. It's not freestanding like some of those ones. So you've got to be able to have soft ground to get pegs in. Yeah, it's almost a bit soft to you, but. Mm. Yeah. It's got a chair as well. Yeah, this guy's thinking ahead. Yeah. Coffee, yeah, noodles nice. on the go. Azza, what do you reckon today? Absolutely awesome. That is something different coming down in the boat. Pretty magical, <laughs> isn't awesome. it? Yeah. So, and, uh, what do you got here? The old Anaconda Denali special. Me. Nothing fancy, but. But you've got the dollars in the bag. You got that awesome base camp. Yeah. Good sleeping bag, mattress. The big Kahuna. And that, what's that? What do you say that bag attaches to that? Yeah, the mattress actually. Oh yeah, slings around. around. You don't know, slide off it. Clips in, so. Yeah, that's me. Zip down either side, so it's like a doona on top. Yep. Should be uh, nice and comfy. And then he's got his chair too. <laughs> Sit in that as I've got to, you got to sit in it. I can't believe this thing came out on a tiny little pocket. Like me, but <laughs> does the job, makes it, makes it a little bit more comfy. That's li that's hunting with comfort, that's for sure. <laughs> and this is our first, I'll give you a little look at our first um, pull in for the night. So there's a, where we've tied our boats up, there's a deer preach right there and there's fresh prints all over the ground. There's the boys, tethered, tethered boats, beautiful little fishing hole. There's Mr. Fickling's setup. He's got his um, moonshine barrels and Maroka fly, Maroka bivy, and um, and the, the the low ranger over there is Cozzy. He's he's slung pretty low. There's pretty. There's meant to be a storm coming in tonight and a bit of rain, so it's magic now. Yeah. I think it's just darkening up here. Good set up. There's some bloody good faces straight out of here, eh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see over the top of that. But there's some great glassing country. We're already. <laughs> You see? Yeah, the deer aren't going to be far from here.
So we've got two, two quite a large hind up there. It's in the centre of the screen. I don't know if you can see that one. That is one of the blondest deer I've ever seen. The samba. You can see this. The one centre of the screen is the blonde one. A little fraction down in the fork on a 45 degrees to the right downwards. There's a normal looking sand behind there facing away from us that light little patch it's, it's, it is its bum just starting to get a bit of rain coming through now might change things up a bit he's going to town on that bush that stag up there so the center of the screen just left of that little shrub that's blowing on my side sorry for the thing guys but he's a bomber stag that one Oh, the wind is just killing me with this little bush in front. Dawn's setting off for the morning. We know there's some deer up there, so fingers crossed he gets it done. Off we go, as are day two. Yes, on the hill, can't wait. <laughs> We're going up there. That's a bit of the river that we came down yesterday. Well, it's a pretty nice view from up here. We've got um, Don straight across on this face over here walking up. There's a couple of olives just in front of him and some nice game trails. Last night, that's the um, ridge line that we saw, those two hinds with that stag on. And I haven't been able to pick them up this morning. I've been looking at that tall morning and um, they may be there and I can't see them. Um, <clears throat> the other boys are watching this face down in here. Um, that's the river that we flowed down into yesterday. And then um, Aaron and uh, Greg are just around the corner here working that system up in there. So I think Greg's just come on the radio and said that he's, um, he's in front of a fawn. He's, he might be able to get some um, pictures or video of that. But... Yeah, it's a pretty quiet morning. Um, it was quite windy last night and not real cold. We didn't get a frost or anything, but um, I suspect the deer would be on this face at the moment. Uh, so we'll just keep running the glass over them and see what we can come up with. Almost back to camp after the morning of day two. Um, not much action. Aaron and I, Don, have been up there trying to find those deer from yesterday, but. Yeah, no luck, but uh, Rob's just come over the radio and um, he's over this system. That's our camp from last night and um, Rob's just gone up and over the um, that ridge line there and he said that they've just come up on a couple of deer and um, they're just setting up on it now. So hopefully we'll hear a shot any second and um, we can go over and give him a hand to lift it out. I've got my... Uh, this is actually Don's boat. I'm about to steal it and go back to camp and uh, start breaking it down. <laughs> today. Um, <clears throat> I've had a good day rafting and covered a little bit of ground. So uh, we're going to head up the back here in the system hunt up in here tonight. And then uh, in the morning we're going to go for a big adventure up into there. We've only got a couple of hours so we'll go see if we can see some uh, deer sign and um, work it out from there. Yeah, Az and I are um, just up above camp and we've got two hinds feeding, uh, heading up the hill. They're approximately 500 metres from our position. Copy that. Well, Aaron and I will try and um, drop down and get into a, a shootable range to... Like. 
shot. Now, tumble. Good hit. I didn't see the hit, but she's oh snagged on a tree. Is she down? Yep. We got one, 236 metres. The only thing is it's on the other side of the river, so <laughs> we've only got half an hour of light, so we're gonna run down here and grab a raft, try and get over there, get it onto the raft and get on the other side of the bank. It's gonna be all hands on deck to race the sun. Good good uh good spotting as up. Let's get down this mountain. Boys are coming over to help. Paddle Gregory, paddle! Paddle, back paddle! <laughs> oh yeah! Pick up some speed across there. Yeah! Look out, man. For Race of Sun, we've got 10 minutes of light left. We're going to get back across that rapid to camp, hopefully pull into that eddy, so load up the boat, uh, the uh, boat, fuck some meters we can get in there, and um, hopefully the boys are over there to catch us and help carry these back to our base camp. Happy days. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Paddle backwater. <laughs> Up here, Aza. Absolutely amazing. Top of the world. We just um, <coughs> we've had a we're watching a spiker down there, and we just saw another hind step out. And Rob's just come on the radio over the hill and said he's got that stag on the ground. So happy days! They're gonna have a carry out down that side and contemplating shooting one down here, but you can see our predicament. <coughs> if we take a shot down there, and that deer, no doubt, will tumble down to the river. Um, we know around that face is quite cliffy and uh, we don't know that's all screed so trying to walk back out with that screed um, yeah it'd be very very difficult and especially for me down we want to take as much as we can so we know there's a couple back on the other side closer to camp we might try and go back in there and um, then we did see a young uh, yearling animal yesterday hanging out on that face so if you close the camp maybe we'll go back around and try for one of those ones What are you doing in there, Azza? Oh, <laughs> There's been a few tumbles in this system. It's just in this sea of blackberries and it's all kind of cavernous underneath. But there's deer in here. Mission Yazza? No. That looks beautiful down there, doesn't it? Look at that. It does, yeah. Yeah, we're almost to the bottom. Made it. Ah, water. Water. The flat ground. Ah. <laughs> oh man. Oh. How was 
a mission. That was a mountain. We were higher than that one up there, way up there. We made it. Fresh drinking water. Yes. Well, day three comes to a close. This is um, the last camp. Tomorrow morning we um, gonna pack up here and we got the big raft back to the car. Um, we still were in with a chance. There's some really good gullies and whatnot on the way, so we'll never switch off from uh, having a look for some animals on the way out. But we're gonna have a couple of boat loads full. The guys had some more success today, so um, we've got a couple more uh, legs to put in the in the truck. And everyone saw deer today. There was a lot of action. What do you think of the? Um, Country up here as it's hard going, it's isn't it? It's steep hills up there. <laughs> oh, can't walk at the moment. Jelly legs, a, a bit of lactic acid. It's pretty awesome country. What happened today, Gregory? Yeah, very good country, I reckon. Very steep, but um, some really nice faces. A lot of a lot of feed and pick and stuff for the deer. They seem to be all on the the, the dry side. I know it gets the sun in the morning, but it does, doesn't look like there'd be any food for them. But Surprising what they're living in, eh? Yeah, just shale rock, dust, but they just, just pick the little bits off of some of those they plants. They all seem to be in the part where you think they wouldn't be, just the extreme. Yeah. The steeper the better. It's good. Yeah. Saw a few deer glass one up on the, the the shady side on near the pick, but all the other deer were pushed and seen on the sunny side. Uh, Don got a shot on one, but unfortunately missed it, and uh, that one got away. Yeah, and then Rob, um, they just finished dressing down their animal. They got a stag today, which was a bit of a team effort, but yeah, happy days. Yeah. Good work. Packing up, I don't want to go home. <laughs> What's your favourite bit so far, Gregory? Oh, I don't know, it's all been pretty good. Crafting's been exciting, definitely uh, different than uh, walking in on the huts. A bit easier, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome, it's been a real good experience. The huts have been good, it's been a well rounded trip, I'd say. Everything's worked out, weather's been pretty good for us. It's a little bit drizzly today, but um, the river's gone down, we had it. Oh, the water level was kind of way up here and it's receded maybe two and a half, three metres now. It's quite good. So hopefully this um, so-called one and a half metre drop isn't as bad. We've just come up to a pretty big uh, rapid. It's got a bit of a drop in it. Might not look much face value, but it's pretty dangerous because a lot of submerged um, logs and sticks and um, boulders facing the wrong way with sharp edges so we're gonna do this one at a time and spot for each other. We're gonna get out here and um, just roll the camera and hopefully everyone gets through it all right. had an absolute blast up here in the Victorian high country. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this and you want to see a bit more of this trip, you can head over to www.beyondthedivide.com.au or over to Vimeo and search Beyond the Divide and um, Rob Fickling has done a fantastic edit of this trip and, and there's a lot more action in there as well so go and check that out. Otherwise stay safe, happy hunting, see you next time guys.